But did you do it di differently this time compared to the three previous ones because <coughs> you were less stressful? I think we did? felt different. I think, um, well, uh, oh my gosh, the fact that we sat down and we wrote oh my gosh specifically as a single um, for the singles album and it did well. I personally felt quite encouraged by that and thought that it might be a good way to ease us back into the songwriting process to start with Hush Boy, which actually wasn't that easy at all, it turned out. But, it made um, it more difficult. Yeah, yeah, it did, actually. How okay. come? Uh, because we were... Well, I mean, it was a starting point, but then the record company said, oh, that, that song's really good, that could be a single. And then the moment they say it could be a single, it's like making it really difficult. Yeah. Because you think this has to be something that's played on the radio and has to work. But it needs to be cool as well. And you start putting pressure on the track. And that's not always good. Because it's better just to... Like, we did like 40 tracks for the album. That's no problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. really good uh, mic stuff. Yeah. We did yeah. about 40 tracks. And, um, and then, yeah, towards the end of the process of the album, we were like, OK, we've got to focus on some now and get them finished. But Hush Boy was definitely one of the difficult tracks. But every album has a difficult track. Last album, it was Good Luck. That took us ages, and we went through loads of processes, and it just it took a long time to get it to its finish point. But does it does it get easier? I mean, well, you've been now working together for ten years or something. Does it get easier to to know uh, w what a track needs or how it? I don't think so. No. Because things change as well, and if you you say, well, we did this in that track before, but you don't want to do that again because you did that before, so it's not actually. It's not making a new solution to it. Yeah, I think we're just as uncertain about things as, uh, as we were seven or eight years ago when we do them. But we're probably more ambitious now. <coughs> yeah. we're, we're more adventurous, and there's a lot more layers on top of on stuff that, compared to before. And we probably, like with Remedy, we were probably still thinking in tracky dance mode. And if, it, if it sounded all right in the clubs next to those other records, yeah. it was fine. Now we want to reinvent the club and the type of music they play in the club, which is like a completely different thing. But did you start out for this album with a with 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 some kind of concept, with some kind of idea? No, no. I mean no. the radio crazy itch thing that <coughs> came gradually throughout writing Hush Boy, and Vula did was pretending to be a disc jockey, and she did the intro crazy itch radio. It was like yeah, well that could be a theme. It was a possible theme for the rest of the album, and we've all, we've always enjoyed like interludes and sort of having the albums populated by different characters, you know, all these different characters pop, you know, popping in and kind of making their presence felt. So we've always, we've always liked to do that sort of thing. And well, on this album, we did get a lot of people to do little jingle, jingles and interludes. But when it actually came to sequencing the album, a lot of it just seemed unnecessary and seemed to clutter the, clutter the music a bit, get in the way of it. Like some bits that we thought were funny, we thought, well, actually, this might wear off after three or four months. It might not be so funny anymore. Because people will do something in the studio, you go, that's funny, that's wicked, yeah, we've got to put that on the album. It'll be so... But probably wouldn't be. It might d detract a bit from the depth of the music. And what I was just thinking, because you were saying, well, crazy, it, I think it's some, some what, what do you mean by it for the, for the radio? Is, is it something that, that, well, radio doesn't make you itch anymore? I don't know. Or? No, I think, well, I think, well, crazy itch, I think, is the, what makes people live. It's, it's, man's curiosity, wanting to do things, wanting to have ambition, wanting to achieve things, create things. And uh, if you haven't got a bit of an itch, then you're not really living, whatever it might be.